Yes, indeed. Before we start, of course, we must pay our respects to the original custodians of this land that we meet, Always. that we parlay, that we feed off of. Uh, the original people's future, past, present, always come with respectful energy. And I'm Super here with, important. yeah, sure. of course, my man, the, the young man, the young goat. <laughs> not Kid Lariah. No, it's not, it's, it's, not Leroy. La, it's not Lario, it's not Laray, it's not all, it's fucking the kid Leroy. The kid Leroy. Thank you very man? much for your time for and sure. your energy. Yeah. 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 Triple two. Yeah. Triple two. So you had a, you've had a, an awesome come up. You can see your footsteps, you know, like from where you came from to where you are now. And, right. you know, the come up's been awesome to watch, especially someone like myself who's been in the industry for a long time just to see. You know, you feel like that proud uncle, like, oh, yeah, this kid, yeah, it's yeah. going, it's awesome. Yeah. You know, and you, you're you putting songs, like you said, in, on SoundCloud, um, Triple J Unearthed as well was was a highlight, and things just started moving and moving, and, and you know, we, we bring it to 2019, 2020, you've got a couple of songs that are just popping. Was it, to have a song pop, like those last two songs have popped, was it everything you thought it would be? You know what's crazy? I, I still don't feel like, like, I don't know, maybe it's just me personally, but I'm never, ever, ever satisfied. Like, I feel like, okay, this is cool, but let's try the next one. I want to get bigger. I want to do better. So, but I mean, I mean, at the same time, though, I'm super grateful because it was just like three or four months ago. I was like, damn, imagine, like, I was like telling Bibby, I was like, bro, you think, you think like one of my videos could get to like 10 million views, bro? Like, you think, you think it could happen, bro? He said, Come on, I know, I know it's gonna happen, and I go, nah, I don't know, bro. Ten million is fucking pretty big, and then we just did ten million in like two weeks, just over two weeks, which is like, wow. wow, what the fuck? And even refresh, refresh, like, refresh. and I, I was like, wow, like this is ten million, but at the same time, it just feels so like not real that it just feels not like I don't know how to explain it. It feels like not real, but it feels normal, but it's I don't yeah, know and like I said, it just unlocks. The next level is like, yeah. wow, okay, 10 million, what else can I do? Yeah, yeah, no, What's sure. next? It's like, like, what can I do now? Mm. You know, that's what I always, always trying to think. And I'm always talking with Bibi and George, like, damn, what are we going to do now? Mm. Like, okay, let's put this together, let's do this. Like, and they, they're they super, super good with coming up with shit like that as well. Because I just know what I, what I like and what songs I like and shit like that. But, you know, they're good with just, you know helping the plays and, and getting everything together so yeah yeah um but i just yeah i don't i don't really know you know i mean now i'm learning being around them about the industry a lot more but coming over here i was just like kind of like like you know i don't fucking know anything mm. about the music industry in america or how it really works so i feel like being around them i'm starting to pick up on Say some game and yeah. knowledge and stuff like that but um I just like I just make the music and I'm like here guys yeah, yeah, you do, um, you need do, to do do this uh, like just do whatever because yeah I just like I just like making music and, I, and plus I don't really like to focus on like too much I'm like okay this is how we're gonna get this views or these or da 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 because I I feel like that just takes like puts like bad energy on me and I feel like I don't make good music when I'm worried about that type of stuff I feel like I just you wanna be able to make music from a genuine yeah, place. From a, yeah, yeah, from a place where I just feel happy or sad or like or whatever, you know. So And and you've lived through some some experiences, you know, through throughout your career, like you know, the passing of your uncle that you've you've brought up a few times. Yeah. Rarely talked about but it's always been there. And and quite recently with Juice World. Yeah. Um two pivotal characters in, in your life as a person and as a musician. With with their passing, did it did it feel like you know, obviously you're gonna feel depressed. But in another way did it make you feel stronger? Um I guess, you know, when you when you lose some like you can never be prepared to lose somebody. Mm. Whether it's your fucking your friend or or your, your family or whatever, you can never be prepared to lose somebody, no matter if you think, like, you know, no matter if someone's on fucking life support, and, you know, like a family member, they're on life support, and you, you know, you're never ready, because when it comes, you're like, damn, yeah, like, like, they're wow, gone, yeah. like, and 
you feel like, damn, they're going forever. Like, I'm never, like, mm -hmm. and that shit is what can play on your mind in the back of your head, I believe. Like, damn, I'm never going to get to physically talk to them again, or I'm never going to get to, and that shit can definitely play in your mind, and it does to me a lot, like, stuff that happened five to ten years ago is still plays in my mind, like, damn, I can't believe I'm never going to get to do that again, or I'm never, you know, I'm never going to get to see that person again. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just feel like no one could be prepared for that type of stuff, um, but going through it, you know, it, it never feels, I mean, you know, you get more, it's, it's, it's fucked, but you get more used to, like, you get more used to shit like that happening, mm -hmm. and, you know, okay, I gotta deal with it, um, this way, as opposed to when you lose somebody for the first time, it's, it's, I mean, it's always hard, but when you lose somebody for the first time, it's, it's different, because you've never felt this before, mm -hmm. so, when you know that feeling, you know, it's always gonna feel like, you're always gonna feel fucked up because you can never, you know, it's not something you can be prepared for. But um, you know how to navigate it a little, a little better, and know how to how to deal with it. Um, but yeah, it's always. I feel like it's always gonna play in the back of your mind, though. Mm -hmm. No matter how many people you lose, um, you can deal with it physically. Different, you know. You get numb to a lot of stuff, but eventually it's gonna all come back to your head, yeah. which is a uh, yeah. It's a harrowing thought. Yeah. And that's what I feel too, you know, people say, you know, time heals all wounds, but I, I definitely don't believe in that. Yeah, I, it, I don't just, believe You just learn, like you said, learn to navigate. You just learn to live with it better. Yeah, you learn to live with it better, and that's what it is. You can never, you know, it's like getting a piece of paper and scrunching it up and then flattening it out again. Mm. And keep you keep doing that. Like, it's you can keep trying yeah, to get perfect, it, but it's right? always yeah. going to be little creases and little fucking ways that you feel deep down you just learn how to fucking you know you learn how to just navigate it and, and live with it a little better and yeah that, but that's that, you know losing you know death is a part of life you know you live to die which is something that plays know, every it's fucking just, day it's as true as, as it is yeah, it's as, definitely a yeah, depressing you, thought you live to die uh, you're born to die that's yeah. literally you know so you just it's life, and I don't know, I just believe that it's a part of life that you just gotta, you gotta just deal with when it comes, and you gotta, just, I don't know, I don't know, there's no really advice you can really give anyone mm. to, like, how, how, to, to, how to deal how, with how something. How better because, to deal with Yeah, that. how better to deal with it, because everyone deals with it in their own ways, um, but yeah, you just gotta, shit, you just gotta take it how it is, and, mm. and you just gotta know that what you're feeling isn't bad or it isn't you know that's that's probably the one thing that's helped me a little more is knowing that okay what I, I'm I know what I'm feeling is not wrong to feel you know exactly. um like no why am I feeling like this because I should be happy I yeah I should it, yeah. be you know I, I should be thinking like better things like but it is what it is you mm. just gotta yeah the, the more you let Everything. The more you let yourself be free with your thoughts and, and free with everything, that's the more it. Um, I feel like the more it helps you to to deal with shit. If yeah. that makes sense. No, you know? 100%. If you think about it too much, it's just gonna. You're gonna dig a deeper hole for yourself. Mm. Are you familiar with the um the term survivor's guilt? Survivor's guilt. guilt. No. It's where someone has lived through like a traumatic experience, but feel bad because other people didn't. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, just say it was an accident, two people die in an accident, one person survived, and that yeah, survivor yeah. Yeah, yeah. has that oh, feeling yeah. of, like, they feel bad because they survived. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, 100, 100%. Um, and then, you know, there are different levels to that, you know, because yeah. it could be... You can feel survivor's guilt mm. off of, like, like, it's so weird. When my, when my uncle was, uh, when my uncle passed away, I, uh, I had, I was, you know, I had nothing to do with it. I was nowhere, nowhere near him. Uh, but I felt like I, you know, at at the age of like fucking ten years old, I felt like I could have done something to prevent mm -hmm. people, you know, taking his life. Uh, I felt like I could have done something when I 
I couldn't have at all. There was nothing that I could do, but it's like I felt, you know, and I feel like once again, that's also a natural feeling that everyone feels no matter how someone dies or how, you know, you always feel like you could have done something, you could have done something better or you could have, um, you know, but it's life once again. And I, I don't know, I believe, you know, people believe what they want to believe. And I know some people will look at me and be, ah, shut up. But I believe that, you know, fucking, whether it's God you believe in or whether it's whatever, it, everything up there has a plan mm. for for us and everything happens for a reason, which might, again, sound like, gosh. I'm a, I'm a firm believer. Yeah, in that yeah, too. yeah. Like, people, ah, shut up, man. Mm. Shut the fuck up. But I feel like, you know, shit does happen for a reason. Mm. And, um, you know, whether it's, to make you, I don't, I don't know. It just it happens. It happens for a reason. Mm. That's uh, you know. That's I guess that's all I, I should really say. Yeah. And you mentioned Bibi and, and the whole team that you're involved with and it's right behind you. How's that been? Like that, it's a different kind of monster, right? Yeah, it's great. They're incredible. Like, but you know, before before everything else, they're just great people, mm. and um, great guys to be around. You know, the super caring of of me and and you know they always ask what I want to do and what I want to be and, and where I want to be and then I, I tell them and they take that and just make it happen mm. you know so I uh all, all I really have to do is just is make the music and and tell them what I like and what I don't like and then we work around that which is a super good way to to be I feel like because you know you hear of a lot of kids that you know the labels have uh, you know, forcing them, they're mm. slaving them, they're fucking picking this and that and that, which is really good. Like me and you know, me and Bibby and George, we all sit down and it's like it's a very like you know group process of like what music we like and stuff like that. And they super considerate of like what I like and and all that type of stuff. And then they take it and just do what they need to do to get it out there. Um, yeah, I'm definitely picking up. On um, little shit they do, they that that's another reason why I fuck with them so hard. They they s tell me like yeah. everything that's going on. They s show me like sharing the knowledge. What they, yeah, sharing yeah. the knowledge and not being greedy with it, yeah. which is what I feel like you don't get from a lot of people. At least what I've heard, mm. you don't get from a lot of people. Um, but yeah, that's you know they want they want the the best for me. So and we talked about you moving away from Australia. Um, not only moving away from your home, but you're moving away from familiar situations. You're moving yeah. away, especially someone that had quite a tight crew. Right, for back sure. Home. I mean, you mentioned before you have a friend here. Um, how how was that leaving that familiarity and and that tight knit crew? Um, you know what it is. It's like. It's like at you know, thinking about it when you think about it a lot, you you know, you'll get sad or you'll mm. get like, fuck, like, damn, I missed this or I missed that. But if you just think about like, you got to think about it is this is your life and this is like your, you know, I want to make a living out of this and I can't let, you know, that type of stuff stop me from what I, I want to do mm. in the end because I know that if I do this now and if I go by myself and do this now, then I can set it up for all the people that I want to bring and bring them over here. Whereas if I just stay and we just do the same old same. shit then it's gonna be I'm just gonna be doing the same old exactly. shit for the rest of my life but I feel like if if I go and I'm like okay I gotta do this now I gotta take it upon myself to you know go over there so things can be set up whether it's like one year or fucking ten years you know set it up so when everyone else is ready to come over and fucking and be with me and you know everything's nice and it's just the way I plan for things in my head uh, you're recently in in Australia, um, and while you were there, you got the call up, cold minute call up. Yeah. To do the video that I know you've been waiting. <sighs> I mean, months, but also years. It's just thinking Your whole career. I'm sorry, still thinking about that. It's like, oh, oh like, like, as I think back to how I fucking felt, and I'm like, because now it's just like, oh, cold, fucking, you know, this, this is homie. But now it's like, I think back to like how fucking crazy that really is, mm. and how much I wanted that, and how, and now I'm like, oh. My fucking god, like it, it, I don't know. The feeling just came back. Continue. <laughs> no, no, it's right. awesome. Like, how was the? Who, who called you about? Was it direct call from here? Um, from yeah, he had called me when I was in the. Well, it, uh, it's funny because he had called me when I was in 
um, the hotel room in Sydney, and he had said, bro, I really like this song. Mm. Let it go. Like, I think this is the one that we shoot. Because we'd been talking for, like, a year, just back and forth, like, what's the one? Like, what is the song? And we just never really worked it out. And he's, like, he's super, like he has to believe in the song and the person to, to like, or he has to really fuck with it to, to shoot it. You know what I'm saying? So if he doesn't all the way fuck with something, then he's mm-hmm. not, he's not going to do it. Like he'll turn down, like he'll turn down a million dollars for a video shit. If he thinks that if he, if he doesn't it's like it, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Which is, I think, it adds so I, much think more that, value, yeah. I think that's amazing. It yeah. adds, yeah, it adds so much value and, and character to the person he is. But I, um, yeah, he, so, he called me and he's like, bro, I think I really like this song, bro. He's like, I think, I think we're going to shoot this one. I think I want to shoot it. And I was like, it's fucking sick. Like, let's do it. And he's like, yeah, do it. So then obviously he reached out to my people, like, and just, uh, you know, set it up and set up the shoot and stuff like that. And uh, I I'd, I'd done the Perth and the Sydney show. And I was supposed to go to Melbourne. But on the day that I was supposed to go to Melbourne, I had to, I had to, uh, Cancelled the show to fly out mm. and do the video because it was the only day he had available for the rest of the year. Yes. So I was like, no "Yeah, brain. I can't, I can't turn that down." I, but I really, you know, I really wanted to play that show in Melbourne. And there's actually a photo because <clears throat> um, one of my manager, he like stood back at the show because he was managing Juice as well. Mm. So um, he stood back at the show and and like before Juice had come on. Someone like had like a thing on their phone and it said, "Where's Leroy?" with a question mark, and he sent it to me, and I was like, "Damn, yeah. I really wanted to fucking do that show, but I was, but I, you know, I got the video out of it, and I got, you know, something that money can't buy yeah. out of it." So and again, if, if you if you know, you know, people would understand like, yeah, they'll be bummed that you didn't perform. Yeah, yeah, but for then sure. To see why it's like, yeah, okay, and, I and it's like. I promise when I come back to Melbourne, I'm I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna put on like the best one, the yeah. best show that I've ever put on for anyone because I yeah like I really wanted to do that show. You you've got a new project coming out. Are those two songs taken from it? Nah. All fresh songs. Yeah, it's gonna be all fresh songs. Um, yeah, nice. Fresh songs. Um, yeah, this I, I was gonna do an EP, but I was like. Nah, I feel like people have waited long enough to just get, like, mm-hmm. five songs. I want to give them, like, something something proper. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, probably be, like, 14 songs and maybe, like, a few skits or something. I, w- I want to make it, like, I'll, you know, I've been putting time into this, and I feel like all the songs that I'm putting on there I'm super happy with, so I want to make it all um, nice, and I want to make it tie together because I already feel like I spent you know, time on making those songs. Mm-hmm. So I want the whole project to just sound nice. You can listen to it the whole way through. Um, so yeah, I'm just working super hard on that right now. I'm, I'm, it's, it's finishing up. Like I'm, it's, it's pretty much done. We've got the songs. I just need to record some of the skits and, um, well, you got my number. So and just yeah. piece, <laughs> <laughs> and just piece it together. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then set a date for it. Um, you know, that shit. Level up. Like I said, as soon as I make the music, I'm just like, hey guys, here it is. You guys like it? Let's go. So mm-hmm. then, um, yeah, it's great having having a good team and stuff like that. Back when I was younger and I used to fucking do like little freestyle raps, uh, grab my mom's fucking iPhone fucking 3 or whatever and do little, you know, freestyle raps and put them on Facebook and stuff and <laughs> used to be like, you know, oh, this what the fuck, Leroy? <laughs> or what the? F- you know, I wasn't even going by Leroy back then. People would be like, "What the fuck, Charleston?" Because that's my real name. Yeah. If you didn't know, Charleston, <laughs> that's my real name. So yeah, and they'd be like, "What the fuck, Charleston?" Or like, they they call me Roy sometimes. Mm-hmm. What the fuck, like, turn like, what are you doing, bro? And that made me really super insecure mm-hmm. about like doing music because I was like, "Wow, like, damn, am I shit?" And you know what? I was back then, but. I feel like I always believed that I was that I was good or that I had something at least. Like I, even though I was just, you know, I was just always scared to just put it out mm-hmm. um, because I was scared of what people were gonna gonna say or what people were gonna think. And I just had to keep forcing myself to keep pushing, just keep putting stuff out there and not care 
because I feel like if I got to this point and then I'm still insecure about what people are thinking about my like it would have been fucked. So I just had to keep because I once again I always knew somehow that this was gonna happen in some way. I didn't know like how, but I always had the mindset of believing like this is gonna happen. And I don't know if that's you know I I, I just think that's manifestation and just mm. you know you put something in your brain that you want to do and you keep thinking it's gonna happen. Uh, and working for it. You know, that's one thing. People, I know a lot of people think you can just manifest, like, just think about stuff and it's going to happen. When in reality, no, you fucking, like, no, that's impossible. You can't just think and it happens. You have to put the work in too, but you have to be in the right mindset to put in that work. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I just had to keep pushing shit. And then eventually, when my, you know, I started to get a little better with my music and started to reach out to broader platforms, like, you know, when SoundCloud came out. And stuff like that. Um, and it was more people, not just the people that I knew or people who my friends knew or something. I was watching this other people and they go, oh, you know what? I like this. Like, you know? And then that gave me like, oh, fuck. <laughs> he likes this. Like, I need to keep going. Like, and even, you know, back when someone would be like, one person would be like, damn, I like this. I'd be like, he likes it. So I'm going to keep doing it. Mm. So then now, but now I just feel like, People are going to, you know, you got to realize that what you do is not for everybody. And yeah, it's easy to call somebody a hater and be, yeah, fuck you, you're a hater. But maybe it's just not for everybody. And because uh, I don't know what I think is a hater is like somebody who has no reason to, mm -hmm. to hate to, to, you know, but it's not for everybody. So you just got to keep that in mind. But there are people who like what you're doing. And that's what I'll say to anyone. Like, it doesn't matter if you got fucking... 100 followers or 1 million followers there's somebody out there that if they don't already they are gonna like what you do um so keep doing it because maybe those people need it and maybe that person needs to hear your music even if a thousand other people tell you it's fucking shit maybe that one person needs it or maybe that could save one person's life mm -hmm. you never fucking know so just keep doing shit right there beautiful right. appreciate your time For sure thank you energy brother. I was gonna tell you to take your feet off the couch, but this is your couch. Yeah, this you can do whatever is you like, want. And actually, matter of fact, the rug is fucked up now, so I'm gonna have to wash that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fuck that. Up.